What's going on? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make AI depth map images. And we'll begin just by going to Bing Creator. This is going to be very uh, impromptu. I just sat down, so don't uh, expect a lot of refined detail. I'm just off, off the cuff. Um, okay, so go to Bing Creator and get our image. Uh, let's, again, this is all just improvised. Let's do uh, bass relief of a golden retriever holding a fish in its mouth. Okay, so we'll do that. Then we'll do, um, let's try high detail and see what happens. This just takes a second. Uh, bass relief, so terms. Uh, you can use this with ChatGPT, Midjourney, all the other ones that are out there. Uh, you wanna use bass relief, shallow relief, high relief, uh, carved stone, um, items like that. Uh, you can do color, that's maybe another different, that's a different video, uh, how to get the fine tuned detail out of that. So let's see, I kinda like this one. As I'm gonna go through my options, there's a couple things. Like, it's just really busy, so how's it gonna carve? Uh, I do kinda like that one. Um, also, I'm looking at, it's an AI image, so you can see here that the fishtail is all messed up, and you know, there might be an extra toe, uh, or something like that. So like, yeah, this just doesn't, this doesn't look right. And you can see how the frame is kind of offset there. So it does take a little bit refining and getting down the picture you want before you even go through the additional steps and spend the time and effort doing it. So let's just go with this one. Uh, look, look at that. It has like a mane. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the hair. Uh, <laughs> but we'll do, yeah, we'll try, we'll try this one. Um, again, I'm just kind of picking it. You'll see, you'll do enough of them. Uh, I can't really explain. You just pick it up an eye. So we'll download this one. And, uh, another quick thing. You, there's AI for what they call uncropping. So if you get where like this fish is cut off or the body is cut off, you can use uh, AI uncropping to regen the rest of that image. So you might be getting a lot of cut off images um, and that's how you would do it. They are usually paid service. I know vMake has, you can do five uh, free trials. So. Maybe start there, but that is a paid service. Um, there are some words you can use to try and get back the full image by using framed or using certain terms to try and regen, but uncrop is the easiest. And we're back. Okay, so it kicked me out. I've been doing a lot of these. Uh, you can do the free versions. Sometimes it'll be free. You can go to, again, you can always pay. You should pay, but if you wanna try it, and you wanna experiment, do a couple free, uh, see what you get. So I went to upscales.ai. Again, links will be down there. Um, same thing, it's upscaling the image, adding that extra AI detail, refining it, giving us uh, the best quality JPEG that we can then bring into our next step, which is the secret sauce. So a lot of you may have already been here and on this step. So I downloaded it. Um, it's important I kind of name these. So once I have the upscaled image, I'm going to name it. Uh, this one I said golden with fish up at the end, and that's the upscale. You want that photo as part of your skin if you're using um, Aspire. So keep that photo. That's the photo we're going to use, but we're going to need that later to import it as the skin. Okay. So once I have that, uh, this is what you're gonna need. This is the secret sauce. So you can use uh, 
what's called tiling zone depth. And there's a research paper on it that um, probably don't need to read, but it assigns, it splits up your image, your JPEG, and then tiles it and takes the depth of each tiled layer and then smushes them together and it creates actual depth data to your PNG that you wouldn't, or to your um, JPEG that you wouldn't have before. So um, what you're gonna need is this. Again, I'll put links in there, uh, how to access everything, but you'll go here and use this. And what you'll then have is, uh, it'll look like, it'll look like this. So this is Google Colab, it's free. Uh, Google may lock you out temporarily, but it is free, you're allowed to use it. Google lets you use it. Um, you can run higher end software, Python code, Hugging Face, Git, uh, GitHub, all the different stuff you can run on here. Uh, for free, you connect to this uh, GPU. So we'll go ahead and connect. Okay, so what you want, and this is important for using this for people that have zero know-how, um, you'll want this to look like this. You want to stay connected and you want it to be, uh, we'll go here first, you want it to be on the T4 GPU. So you can go to runtime, and select this one, again, runtime, change runtime, make sure this is selected um, if it's not. And then we wanna make sure we're connected. So then we'll come down, making sure that we're clicking in this top tile, depth mapped generation right here. And then we'll do, as it says here, control F9. So we'll do control F9. And then we upload the photo. And you see I've renamed it here. and that's gonna upload. So, a couple quick things about this. It needs to be a JPEG. You can't do PNG, um, you can't do other um, types of files. It likes JPEG, and you need Google Chrome. If you try to do it on Explorer, Safari, um, any other browser, it, I've had trouble. So you need Google Chrome, a Google, uh, Gmail account and you can access this um, and it needs to be a JPEG. Now when you're running it the first time could take 15 minutes um, just because it has to unpack and download uh, everything that's on the git and again you can see that all happening here that runs through. Once you do your first one and you go to set up your second one you'll just click in this top block again and when you're still connected, you'll hit Control F9, and then you can just go back to uploading your second, third, fifth photo. Um, then it will take three minutes, five minutes at most uh, from there. The first one is always the longest, so I'm gonna cut the video and just display my results at the end here. But like I said, uh, first one takes the longest. You can do a repeat. It's not unlimited but Google has only kicked me off once and they have a paid version, but they, they allow it for free. Uh, they've only kicked me off once because if you leave it running, you're connected to their GPU, uh, costing them uh, you know, time and money. So if you're not using it, make sure you're disconnected. Uh, that was my mistake right off the bat. So that's what I learned is when I'm done using it, you'll just come in here and then click disconnect. Um, disconnect and delete runtime. And then you'll have a page that looks just like this. Um, and I'll go ahead and cut here and show you the results when they're done. Okay, so we're back here um, and you can see it's gonna run all this code on its own and this is the result that spits out. It'll be a, a low resolution and then come out with a high resolution. And this is your depth map PNG. It should automatically download and show up in your uh, your Google uh, downloads um, on your uh, Google Chrome. And th this, is the, this is the photo we need and we'll take it over to Aspire. 
Okay, so now we're over in Aspire and I just created a new a new job here. Um, you won't be able to do this exact technique with uh, desktop or vCarve because I can I think you can only have the one STL file um, and these aren't STLs. Uh, so I'm not I'm not sure on the different ones. This is just Aspire and, and how I do it. And I'll just randomly set a 2020 and 20 by 20 and then 1.5 inches thick and then I'll set this at very high for now Obviously you can hold shift when you create a new file and that'll be the maximum uh, modeling resolution that you can use uh, Go ahead and do that if you're making if you're making the model for yourself for now I'll just go ahead and put this so we can get the video up Okay, so we'll come in here and we'll upload the depth one first and you'll see how it comes in here. Okay, so obviously it's giant. I'll click this, that's our depth map. And when we go to, you'll look like that. That's how it's gonna import. Um, it just is giant. So we'll come over here. I uncheck, I want to play with the depth, so I'm not gonna scale it while I'm reducing this. And then I'll arbitrarily just, let's throw in 18. Okay, and I'll center it. So this is how it looks now, just completely unedited. And you can see it's kind of flat. Uh, so we'll do some stuff here. We'll see how it imported. And we can do this, come into our properties. And it's only sitting at just over <clears throat> half inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a one in here for now. And let's see. Okay, uh, there we go. So it looks like we're getting some depth back. Um, and I'll show you how to, so a lot of these might come in like this. And I'll show you how to do that right now, actually. Let's go back into here. We'll do tilt. Uh, we're gonna set the anchor, you set the anchor in 2D. And then the anchors, at the bottom to the top. And then what I found is usually about 2% here. Uh, so I'll just type in 2.0. And then what I'll do is come back over to your 3D view. And let's look at the side. And I kind of want to just shoot for somewhat level to start off here. So maybe try like 1.7. <clears throat> and that's good enough for me for now. So I'll then close that and let's go back and look at our view. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, and I'll just say it right off the bat. This is never going to be as good as handmade models, or I shouldn't say never, but it's currently not. Um, I think there's still a lot to figure out in that aspect. So if you want a high quality model, you should get them made custom, handmade, the typical, uh, how you make models from vectors in create shapes like you would um, and have been uh, since Aspire has been out. That's the best route. This is good for shallow reliefs, for doing background items or uh, well, I'll talk about that in a later video, I suppose, but um, this is the quick way to just get a 3D image going. So that looks good enough now. We can kind of see that there is some depth here, but a lot of this image is eaten up by all this underneath, and I don't really care about that. So, oops, we don't want to emboss. We want to reduce below the Z. So what I'll do is I'll come up here. And actually, let's do this. I'll pull this until you start seeing some flooding there. So I'll just come down, make sure that I can get rid of all that, and then we'll hit apply. Close 
close. And uh, uh, it has not brought my modeling plane up. I want to, mm, oh, I, I want to reduce. Mm, well, you could do a Z plane, uh, but this should give us. Let's see, what do I want to do? I'm losing my coffee, hasn't kicked in yet. I want to reduce the height. No, I don't want to. I want to, let's, I want this, replace values. Well, let's see, if we could try it this way. Um, also, you kind of notice uh, because of the tiling, there might be some lines and we can apply a smoothing filter on this if you want to start. But um, what we'll do now is the second part. We'll come in here. Okay, one thing I'm going to do real quick is... So... You'll see that uh, it needs to be a JPEG with no E. When you come in, so your your AI upscale model might have an E um, in the JPEG versus JPG, uh, and that'll cause it not to show up here. So we'll click this one. You can see how we have the depth. That was from doing the Zoe depth, and that's a PNG. And this one is from our upscale, and that's a JPEG. Now, what you usually get uh, when you see these AI to 3D models is just the uh, just the JPEG that's coming in. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So we'll come here, and you're like, oh, that looks fantastic. Uh, but what you'll see here in a second is I think it looks like crap. So we'll do 18 because that's what we picked before. We want to match. This is what we're using as our skin. Uh, come in, center it. Close this and we'll go uh, look at what this looks like. Looks like crap. You're never going to carve this. It's going to snap off. Uh, it's too fine. It'll take 30 hours for this 18 inch square piece. And I don't think they look that great. So what we'll do is come in, lower this. I found 0 0.06 is my kind of like sweet spot. Uh, you can play around. It's all gonna be based on the image, but uh, you can play around with your skin. And you'll watch this reduce. Now you can see like there's some texture, but look how look how flat this is, right? Because we've reduced that. This is this is not gonna be good for wood carving. Um, you know, it, it's just not gonna look good if you've ever done three D stuff. Uh, you need the shadows. You need the depth. That's what creates a good, especially when you have monotone and you're not painting, and it's just wood. Um, just walnut or it, it's just you need that contrast you need that light um, casting to bring in your depth so now we'll turn back on the other one and you'll see how it kind of adds uh, some depth here so now we have the best of both we have 
this death, you can see the fish has popped, the nose has popped, it's slightly raised, we have some hair, and this is the image that we're working with now. I'll turn off, again, turning off the skin. Right? And then putting the skin back on. And, uh, you know, the best of both here. Then you can combine them, you can bake them, you can add a... Um, a smoothing filter to both um, if they're selected. So let's just go ahead and try that. We'll, um, we'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll bake it. Oh, maybe I should select these. Again, coffee hasn't really kicked in yet, so. All right, so now we have this baked one. I don't like to bake it just because I like to play with it a little bit more as I'm trying to figure out what I want. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and reduce this to an inch. Okay, and like I said, then you can kind of play with smoothing. I know a lot of you are going to be working with three-quarter material, uh, so you want to get that, that depth. Um, you can reduce the height later on, but I like to, when I'm building something, I'm building the model, I want the depth and then I want the options to play around with it later. So this is why I do it this way. We'll add a, uh, let's see, it kind of gives away some detail, but we get the fish scales, which we didn't have before. We get a little bit of hair. But all the super fine stuff that's probably not going to come through anyways is gone. So that works just fine for us. Then what I'll do real quick uh, is I'll clean this up. Come over to here. Just so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Uh, then I'll do this real quick. And I'm just going to come into somewhere around here. And I don't like that top border uh, up there. I'll just use my own I'll use my own frame, and then I come in, and with that selected, uh, the vector selected, I'll come in and do clipping, and use that squares the clipping rather than using um, clearing the component out. I I do that sometimes. I just am a big fan of clipping because it's non destructive, and I can play around with what I want. Um, and I just think it looks better. So anyway, that's our result. Uh, that's our depth. You can see how there is a better depth than a lot of other AI to depth map that I've seen. Um, so there you go. If uh, you have any questions, reach out. I'll probably do more videos and explain in greater detail how I get color images, how you can do um, Blender. If some of you are familiar with that, uh, it's free software. And Blender, you can even do exaggerated uh, depth on there very simply, uh, but it's the learning curve is a little is steeper. And it's used for you know 3D modeling and movies, gaming, uh, animation, and other stuff. So it's not really CNC friendly, but I'll go through and show you how I do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to say subscribe because uh, that's what people do. So subscribe and like. Thanks for your time.